This is Touch by Jenna, Kylie, Robert, and Sam. We are using three test subjects. Michael Sinclair, a freshman. Chance Hamilton, a sophomore. And Amanda Folio, a sophomore. We decided to experiment with pressure to see if the subjects can feel where we poke. Let's take a look. Michael seems to be getting all of the answers correct. It is fairly easy to infer that Michael has a good idea of where the sensory receptors are in his body. Now let's have a look at Chance. He seems to be having a little bit more fun. Right. Back. He's also Back. getting all of the answers correct. Front. 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 Right. And now we peek in on Amanda to right. see how she responds. Back. Right. If she knows her left Back. from right. Oh. Left. Left. Amanda is having more fun than Chance and Michael combined, but she as well oh. seems to be getting every answer correct. My back? Right. <laughs> now moving on to our next segment, seeing whether or not they can tell the difference between pressure and pain when pricked with a needle. Let's see how Michael does. That first prick he thought was pressure. I didn't poke hard enough. Let's try that again. That's more like it. Now stopping by Chance, who was wary of the needle in the first place. Pain. Ah, he feels the pain. Pain. Let's mess with him a little. Pressure. Pain. 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 He didn't like that too Pressure. much. Pressure. 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 Pain. Amanda was Pressure. very scared to go under Pressure. the needle. Ow, pain. Oh, she feels the pain. <laughs> Ooh, I think I poked a little too hard. Let's just stick with pressure. <laughs> Let's say a big thanks to our three volunteers. Hey guys, you okay? Yeah. <laughs>